Eugene limited but positive sample size with Dave Canales calling plays for Bryce Young and the first team in that preseason finale at Buffalo. I think what a lot of fans are hoping to see with this new offense this year, some movement, some misdirection, and some motion. What do we got here? Well, we saw this in preseason here. This is a misdirection play. Come out here in a double slot. This month is going to be like maybe Johnson. Mingle was at this position. But typically on a jet sweep, you bring a guy across in motion very, very fast, and you're trying to get these backers to go ahead and bite. Get these people to move very fast here on the side. And then you bring another receiver on the back side here, Mingle, who's going to get the ball to the other side. Now, the beauty of this play, Nick, is this. The fact that these guys are right here start to block, they get to free up and block on the second level. And if you get that misdirection and these guys are able to go ahead and follow that misdirection, you get a guy like Mingle who's strong, who's fast, running free down in the secondary. Okay, Eugene, Dave Canales has a play call sheet in his hand here, but he's got a stopwatch in his hand with Bryce Young at practice. It's all about getting the ball out quick. Absolutely. 2.6 seconds to 2.9 seconds is where you want to be around if you are the quarterback, Bryce. Here we're going to get a route. This is this was in preseason. This is going to be a nine route, and we're going to have double sticks. Boom, outside. Very quick route set here at the bottom, and we're going to have a backside slant at the bottom. Now, what Bryce is going to end up doing is, as this ball gets here, he's going to have two options. He's going to have a number one option or a number two option to throw the rock down the field or a backside option to throw the ball. But what happens in this play is that it comes out quickly. These are stick routes. That means they happen very, very fast. And you have a go route that gets the guy down the field. Now, here's one thing, one tip. Who's ever on the line of scrimmage, they run typically the deeper route so these other routes can come free. And that's what's going to happen. Bryce Young getting that rock out very, very quickly, either on a backside slant or on a double stick. And in the Jets game, preseason, hit the double stick. Eugene, those are great pass plays, and we're going to want to see that with Bryce Young. But Dave Canales has told us from the jump, it's run, 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 and you've got something for us right now on the ground. And that puts Bryce underneath the center right here. This play right here is going to be a 34 zone stretch play. All right, so the typical thing on this stretch play, we got different personnel in the game. We got a big personnel in the game. We got a U as another tight end and another tight end. And here's my Y. Now, it's 34, meaning that the running back is going to get the ball and He's in a three position. He's going to go to the side. Zone stretch play means he's going to have his choice of where he needs to hit the ball. Can he hit the rock up here? Will he hit it out here? And it's predicated on how these guys are blocking. Typically on a zone stretch, they block to the side like this. And that creates a gap. And he's supposed to find that cavity and that gap and be one-on-one -on -one with that backer. And so this is a really good play Go ahead with somebody like a, a Tuba Hubbard who has that little movement thing that he does, boom, and then he puts his foot in the ground and he gets going up the field. So I like the zone stretch play because it gives the running back the option to go ahead and hit it here, hit it here, hit it here. 